It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party. It's the 202. It's the 202. Hello, everyone. Coming up on the 202, what happens when a hip hop star and her boxer husband take their marriage to the mat in a boot camp? Must see TV. We've got Lil Mo and Carl Doggin in the studio today. Plus, one of DC's most successful new restaurants has created a certain vibe that comes from pairing delicious food with hot music. We'll tell you all about that. And speaking of music, our buddy DJ Dirty Rico is riding this all out with us today. Rico! <laughs> What's going on? Man, it's good. You know I love you. I love you too. You are Mr. Uh, People's Champ. That's well, how I try to step my, you know, I try to step my game up. I gotta, you know, firm it, you know, <laughs> push me along the side. No, you put you pushing that music. I love that too. Hey, hey man, you know, much love to the committee gang. So it's called Hater Blocker. So we gotta block oh, wow. it all the hate up. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we need that, right? Oh yes. Okay. Most definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Rico. No problem. Thank you. All right, while Lil Mo is mixing it up on this season of Marriage Boot Camp, don't forget it's her big hits in the hip hop world that's made her a star contender. Take a look at the fabulous Lil Mo with her hit, Super One. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the stars of We TV's hip hop edition of Marriage Boot Camp. Lil Mo and Carl Dargan, the Dargan. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Thank you so much Hi, for coming. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nice Hi. Thanks for having me. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. Have, have, have a, a seat. seat. Have, have a seat. seat on our sofa. So Thank we can you. get talking. Uh, that's right, that's oh, right. Oh, I might need to take this home. Oh, <laughs> nice and cushioned. And the pillows nice. are nice too, right? Oh, yeah, yes. I don't know, oh. this match too. Actually, uh, this is a new set. Nice. You like the new set? I yeah. like the swivel chairs. Yeah, be, my kids are spinning the, uh, the whole thing off the thing. <laughs> the whole thing off the thing. <laughs> no, they would. They bad. Oh. bad. I ain't going to even care. Wow. Yeah. The handful. Dargans That's are three. making so much noise, not only on TV, but on social media. I mean, everywhere you go, you can be in the grocery store. Someone's talking about this marriage boot camp. Yeah. Uh, tell us how that all came about. And also, clear up the rumor. I was told that you guys are co-executive producers of this or something. How'd you get involved? Mm -mm. I wish. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm about to say, speak that thing into existence. <laughs> Maybe we're just trying to get y'all paid a little bit. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah. that's, that's not like it. So I need to <laughs> investigate. No, but um, Marriage Boot Camp, actually, with season 14, we were initially supposed to come oh, out in oh, April, geez. but because, no, they pushed it up oh, from April up. to okay. January. So we actually... Uh, they pushed a whole season out the way for us. So yeah. I guess when they were doing wow. like the feelers for it, like anytime you shoot a show, you always, you know, send your PR to test and say, this is who is on uh, the show and uh -huh. see what kind of feedback you get. And with it being the hip hop edition, it's a cast of everyone from the different uh, franchises of Love and Hip Hop. So we were from Love and Hip Hop New York, uh, Tammy and Walker from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So is Jessica Dime and Sean. And then from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, they have Lil Fizz or Drew <laughs> and <laughs> Tiffany and yes. Nia and Soldier Boy. <laughs> you tell him. Soldier Drake. Drake. <laughs> yeah, actually, we gotta be like Joe Budden and call him Soldier Man. Yeah. Yeah, Soldier well, Man. we call him Dre because, yeah, him Dre because on the show he he showed the dynamic just like with me as Little Mo versus Cynthia. There's Cynthia has, side, and then there's so, Little Mo. He has Soldier Boy, and yeah. he have Dre. So but, well, before we get into all the yeah. tea behind the scenes, oh yeah, let's take a look at a little bit of the show. Oh let's gosh, what did we oh, do? Oh, the Marriage Boot Camp. No. Shut up! A Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Listen. You will literally taking steps together. <laughs> the couples find out. He's doing Rocky push-ups. Who really wears the pants? I've been there, I've done that, you don't appreciate it, so f you. But one boot camper is about to be caught with their pants down. What the hell? An all new Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, cause hip hop ain't nothing but a wee thing. Woo! Wow, so wait a minute, you guys are actually 
living with these other couples for how how many weeks? Um, a whole month yeah, of August. Month. 20, yeah, about 25 days, 24, 25 days. Well, because we went out there earlier. So what it is is that we they'll fly us in because we were from the East Coast. And so they oh, we didn't even know what hotel we were in. All they said was when you get off <laughs> yeah. the airplane. They take you to a hotel. When you take you to a hotel, they don't give us the, a the room key. Not in our room. The room's not in oh. our name. So don't have a room key. So we can't leave the room. So they're trying to make this boot camp what? as they possibly yeah. can. Right. They break so, it down. <laughs> uh, man, they had us in the house for about 24, 25 days. No phone, no TVs. No radio. No what? radio, no nothing. Didn't no hair down. department. Break you down. Oh, the shower, my wig. <laughs> That's why she bald now. But anyway, yeah. She all natural to death. Hello, Florida Evans. No. But Car Carl Dargan, I want to ask you what it's like to be married to such a superwoman. Lil Mo has a a big personality, uh, big everything. Right. She just, her presence is amazing. What's it like being married to She's her? She's my dream woman. Really? I chased her since I was 15. Oh, what? wow. Wait yeah. a minute, you gotta clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we Well, he didn't act on it. He didn't act on it. I knew it since I was 15. Yeah. Okay. Um, what happened was, um, I had a friend that, uh, that used to rap. His name was uh, Mill. And he was signed to Jive Records. And I had another friend that always used to say, yo, your, your homie is not better than Fabulous. So I'm like, who is Fabulous? Who is Fabulous? Who is Fabulous? So he showed me the video. So he showed me the video. I'm looking, I'm like, Super. forget Fabulous. <laughs> who is that with the fatty right there? <laughs> Like, well, was was like, 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 yo, so you was fast. My cousin, you know, you I told fast. my cousin he was into promoting parties and I said, yo, you gotta book her to come here so I can get her. Wow. wow. So well, what I want to know is behind the scenes, you know, um, the cameras are on full time, right. but behind Ooh. the scenes when you all have your downtime and talking, what's going on? What are you talking about? Well, during the show? During the show. Oh, just, there was no downtime. There, there wasn't really no downtime. It was always every cameras. Game, every, every, yeah. This would have been a camera yeah. or a microphone. Yeah. What? Yes, everybody be like, yo, y'all be quiet. That's a camera and that's a uh, mic right there. It's, yeah, it's a camera child. in every room except the bathroom, but it's audio in the bathroom. Yes, wow. did, did anything you say or uh, do can be held yeah, can be, <laughs> oh, can yes. be, yeah. I, I, I mean, it's, it records everything you say, they record everything you say, everything you do. And Besides you never, being in the and bathroom. you never know what's going on. And then <laughs> one time we walked past a room because the house is how many? 32,000 square feet? What? Something like that, yeah. The, the house, house is, is huge. So and so some parts are blocked off. They were like, uh, oh, off limits. So some, some days, like, you can you go can. to the pool, yeah. sometimes you can't. So one day I'm walking past a room and I see, you ever saw that movie? What was that movie? Um, the Bell Call Experience, where the guy was oh. watching every move. So they see everything. I'm like, oh it's my like God, they now watch this everything. is like, They watch everything. Man. The judge, Lynn Thomas, she treat. watches everything. for a real treat with these. You guys are amazing next few episodes. <laughs> sitting here, it doesn't seem like you need any marriage boot camp. At I all. said the same thing. Ciao. It doesn't I seem said like the it. same thing because the doctors on it, Dr. Ish, Dr. V, they're real doctors. Yeah, they're not actors. Mm. They're not real actors. doctors, you know, so. so they're ready. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> They, so they like study, real... you know, like they do people studies. So they're not watching us to be creeps mm -hmm. or to be, you yeah. know, weird. Because I don't know if I can sit there and watch people all day. They, they, yeah. They're getting your head mentally, too. I mean, and they got they, in my head. They bad. study your diet, dynamic and everything. And they'll say, okay, so we notice that they can, by body language, like if they were watching us, they would be able to tell, like, what's going on during the day. But it'll seem like everything is all fine now. But then they'll come up with, like, an exercise or a, something to do and they say oh y'all oh y'all think y'all y'all tight they'll come up with something <laughs> that's so oh you just gotta see it I'm like scared. you know what oh, Mo, i love those earrings crazy. you are rocking Thank those you. little mo's yes i you think michelle might be too much to have on a pair <laughs> oh well you could put Michelle. okay yeah oh okay. yeah that's lit yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the dargans i love them yeah thank you, you gotta you gotta come back fabulous talking oh, to both whenever of, of course uh, we love it here yeah thank Excellent. you Thank you so much. Coming up, food and music is on the menu as we talk to the man behind D.C.'s Union District Oyster Bar and Lounge. That's right. Stay right where you are. We'll be right back with more of the 202. <laughs> It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. Oh. Welcome back to the 202. Uh, when Furman and I checked out DC's new Union District Oyster Bar and Lounge, we knew we <laughs> smelled a hit. 
but can a restaurant have a spinoff? One of its owners, Russell Webster, is here to tell us all about an exciting new music venture called AOM. Russell. Russell, well, <laughs> Russell, Russell. Russell. <laughs> hey, Dale, Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow. Back at home again. <laughs> yes. You know, this is your home. Yes. It's your I second like home. I'm home. Because I we feel it. like we're at home when we visit Union District Oyster Bar and Lounge. Oh, I seen that. that oh, you that, say that the, so the nice clip. it rolls off the did tongue. You, did yeah. you eat the oyster? Because I seen you playing with it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, it, it's a fantastic looking restaurant. Thank you so much. Fantastic food. Thank you. But there's a vibe there that's just, you, you don't it's see hip. everywhere. It's, it's hip. just I'm not even going to fry. It's hip. Yeah. I feel like a little celebrity. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yes, yeah, all over the world. I, I, I got to be a union worship, but I got to be. A, okay, let's do it. Come on. We so got space for you. Are you moving through your restaurant and people are yelling out your name? Russell, Russell, Russell. I can't even enjoy myself. We was like, <laughs> when it was closed, we don't want to be closed. When we're like, when it was closed, we, we could spend more time. Yeah. Now when you were in there, it's like, everybody like, okay. I said, okay, come on. I'm here. What What's you need me to do? What's your favorite dish there? I'm not going to say it a lot. I mean, I, I love oysters. I mean, we have some of the freshest oysters in the world. Every day shipped in. I love oysters. And that jerk pasta. Uh, oh, jerk, yeah. The jerk shrimp pasta. But well, your, your chefs come up with these creative dishes. With yeah. you know, the, there was a, a fried lobster tail sticking out of some the mac, mac and cheese or something. The mac and, with and the lob <laughs> on the top. Oh, you know, God. I couldn't indulge. You know, <laughs> I'm still trying to sculpt. Mm, mm, so mm. you're gonna have to do something you about that. You gotta be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the drink. You know, I tried Furman's drink when we came to visit that mule thing. The mule, yeah. What, what's in that again? Oh my God, that's the ancient Chinese secret. But it's it's our own, <laughs> it's our own Union Mule. Okay. Oh. But it was good. I, when I watched it two or two, I was like, y'all had, had some good time. Oh, yeah, we had a good time. Because <laughs> it was my drink, but she had her own drink. Yeah. She wanted some of that. Yeah. I always yeah. like to sip his drinks. We got some good mixologists at Union. I can't say that. And D.C. has a lot, a lot of great mixologists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good bartenders. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you've got a lot more going on than just food. Uh, Upstairs, you've uh, got that performance stage. Man, I mean, it is stage. laid out. It's the real deal. Yeah, it is. It uh, is. Tell us about that, and uh, there's a project that you have going on with that as well. Well, you know, connected to music. I love music my whole life, passion, come up with the OJs and the whole world. Uh, and we're blessed to have that stage because to see the talent and to see all the local and international acts and the national acts that, that, that grace Union Live stage already is so amazing. Yeah, we took advantage of that oh, stage. No. Shooting some of the sound yeah. there. Some of the local artists came yes. in. Yes, and the sound, is, sound quality in the building is good. Yeah, yeah. perfect. It's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and then, so so my passion, I've, I've just always been trying to figure out a way to help the independent artists. Okay. Uh, and so we created this platform called America's Original Music, AOM. Oh, wow. And it's original music. It's an online platform where you can sit at home. If, if you get picked from around the world, you can compete in your genre and win a record deal. So not just local artists, but national. From around we're not world. international yet, but national. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's I nice. love that. Yeah. And what do they get ultimately? Uh, one, you get fame. You get a record deal. You can get a publishing Wait, deal. Wait, a record deal too? You win a record deal, yes. A full record deal, supported by majors and independent labels. Wow. With some great people to, to sit and help navigate your career. You've worked with so many um, successful artists over your career, I'm, I'm sure. Do you have any of them involved in this project? Uh, is the famous little Mo here? <laughs> <laughs> she still, she here she, she's she still, still here. here. Oh. Little Mo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, hey, I'm back. Oh, you're yes. back. You're fire. back. Yes. Uh, fire, fire, fire. So no. Mo is involved with AOL. Um, AOM. 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 Okay. Like Tell us about Everything. the connection. Wait a minute. You guys, do you work together? Yes. Oh, my God. Business partners. We've been rocking uh. for, for, shoot, how many kids I got? Because I have <laughs> Like, for 14 years. Uh. No. Yeah. Man. And, like, just us getting back to getting back together, doing business together. He was telling me some of the things he was working on. I said, "Good, I need to partner with, uh, you know, helping aspiring artists be seen, be heard." Because there was a time that was me, and the internet wasn't as as prevalent back mm -hmm. then. Everything mm -hmm. was well. If you could get in right on magazine, or if you mm -hmm. could get on a show, right. or something like that, then <laughs> you were you were seen, or you just had to have word of mouth and just a. Uh, just a buzz around your city, but now mm -hmm. that everything is ran through the internet. Yeah. So the fact that you can literally be at home. Yeah, and plug and play. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, and, play. and be seen. How'd you come up with, with that idea? What made you think, okay, let's, let's take it to the internet, and not only that, let's do it, but how to do it? Mm -hmm. Again, just being real passionate and trying to figure out a way. Uh, it's a lot of money. 
yeah. to, 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 to make it. I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars that a parent or a working a regular person would, would pay to be in the studio, to travel around the world. Uh, and it just, it hit us like, okay, we're in this technology age, let's figure out a way to make it work this way where people can just sit at home and once you get chosen, uh, compete and make you some money. But how are people chosen, I'm, I'm wondering, too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's, I'm going to be picking. No, <laughs> exactly. We're going to bring in this, this fabulous young lady here and, yeah. and great people to really, really look at the talent. American Idol and some of them, a lot of them do tours and then you go and audition. Yeah. We'll do similar things like that, too. Okay. But we want to really keep it about the people. For the people, by mm. the people. We want to keep it right yeah. there. Yeah. Authentic. You know I want to know if you could tell me uh, briefly, Lumo, what do you look for in a talent? Your voice, your presence is so distinctive. What do you look for? What catches your eye? Someone that can really sing. Mm. It's with me or that can, that's really like passionate. I look for that passion. It's not so much of their image because we can throw a wig on and throw mm -hmm. some makeup. Like mm -hmm. we can do all of that. We can fix you up. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of fixer uppers. Mm -hmm. I was a fixer upper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that passion, that voice, that anointing, like you just know, like there are a lot of people now that I'm always in the media because I tell people, I was like, that wasn't it. That's what they used to do to us. Okay, yeah. So, but everybody's so sensitive now. They used to tell That's us, baby, your, your voice ain't ready. Y true. Your throat, your throat need to just mature a little. That's true. So, but there are some young people, like, however they discover Michael Jackson or That's true. however someone was discovered at a young age, now you have the opportunity to be in front of the world the or world. be in yeah. front of us. And we, we're the inside connects. A lot of yeah. people don't, like this opportunity is amazing because a lot of people don't have that inside connect. You usually have to DM somebody yeah. and yeah. hope they all oh, answer. There's, there's a lot more to this and, story, so you guys, that means you guys have to come back. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And let, me, right. let me just add this, I know we gotta go real quick. Uh, I, I've been blessed to choose artists that I can enjoy watching their show. Right. Yeah. When I, I can sit back, this girl here, I call, I, Beyonce, I love you, not, you are one of my favorites, but I call her to Beyonce as well because she's, her talent is just so huge, but when you see her on stage, it's like almost like Raheem Devon, just like, whoa. <laughs> so I can sit back and enjoy the concert when Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. Well, yeah. we look forward to AOM. Excited about it. Yes. Coming up, we're not putting down our forks and knives just yet. Someone else has been busy at the chef's table on the 202. Chef Scott Druno is in the house. But first, you don't have to be a celebrity to project power and purpose in your image. But some advice from an expert can certainly help. It takes a little extra style with Michelle Lopez. In fashion, the way to get ahead of the game is to do all the trunk shows, all the fashion shows, hit all the private events so that I can pull things for my clients that most people don't have. We are here at Durdu Boutique at the waterfront in Southwest. Durdu is owned, operated by Nejla Burke. It has been here since 2018. Nejla, I know you're running around because this is your show, but I really just wanted to take a moment to highlight you and your boutique. And then I wanted to ask you, what was your inspiration for this uh, spring summer line? So I'm originally from Florida. So growing up, I saw hydrangeas, which are these beautiful flowers with these gorgeous colors. You have lots of bright pinks, turquoise, yellows. Yeah. So yeah. I just kind of wanted to return to that. I just wanted to feel like summer again. <gasps> mm. Mm -hmm. oh, my I'm in, um, I will be in Miami for the Black Film Festival. Ooh. Yeah, I think I would like to take this with me. I yes, can definitely buddy. see that on you. Oh, yeah. I don't know. The colors of hydrangeas. I got lots of hips, mm -hmm. Oh, no. They stretch. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to fit it. <laughs> okay. How cute is that? My shoes are lit with this stuff. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. So, we're going to start the show. And I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy it. Orange never goes out of style. That looks like orange satin. Yes, with the hat. I love supporting our local talent. The boutique is beautiful. The clothes are hot, fresh, new, hot off the press. This is just a little extra style with Michelle Lopez. It's the 202. 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 Oh. <laughs> 
And welcome back to the 202. Chinese and Korean delights have a home under one roof, and the result is Chico. And here to bring it to us is <laughs> Chef Scott Druno and John Roapa. Did I get that right? You did. Oh, oh, yay! It's a, it's a tough one. <laughs> now, Michelle and I love restaurants, we love chefs, uh, and we love people that have everything to do with both of those things. And tell us about your company and how that fits in. So, so I have a company called Leading DC. Mm -hmm. uh, we represent brands, 80% restaurants, um, small businesses. Um, we bring to the table relationships, um, I have a bunch of 20 year olds running around that do websites and wow. design. So we're kind of encompass everything under one umbrella. Uh, try to bring a new business that has so many things to think about. Really all they should think about is good quality food, mm -hmm. getting it out there, yeah. making everybody happy. Mm -hmm. So we do all the behind the scenes uh, things to uplift that company and to get them out into the public as much as possible. Wow, so that would be events, that would be appearances on the 202 TV show. <laughs> We've made it, we have made it finally. Uh -huh. and yes, that would be part of it. I, I wanna talk to Scott for a minute about right. everything we have here because sure. I mean, I, I'm feasting with my eyes already. <laughs> Tell me about what's on this table. Well, the first thing up is the blue catfish. So blue catfish ah. is a, an invasive species. It's wreaking havoc in Chesapeake Bay. So one of the great things about being a chef in DC is the bounty we get from Chesapeake Bay. Okay. The bounty of Chesapeake Bay is in danger because of a fish like the blue catfish because it's an apex predator. It's kind of at the top of the food chain. It's eating everything in the Chesapeake Bay, oysters, clams. Oh, no. It's kind of wreaking havoc in the ecosystem. <laughs> so in order to save the bay, like we have to eat blue catfish. That's the oh. best way to eradicate it. And thankfully, blue catfish is a delicious tasting fish. So we wouldn't be serving it if it wasn't amazing. So we, uh, we serve it at Chico. Uh, we do it in a fried rice. But what we do is we, you can see this fish has been uh, smoked. So we rub it with chilies and garlic and ginger. Ooh. And then we put it in a hot smoke. And then we stir fry it in, uh, like into a, our house fried rice. So we got a really cool creative fried rice at the restaurant. Uh, we can't have open fire on the set here, so I couldn't bring our 18,000 BTU wok to make fried rice. Okay. But uh, we do a bunch of other dishes because Chico also has a, a full service, uh, fully licensed catering operation within the district. So we cater office lunches, we cater weddings, we do birthday parties, dumpling parties. We're all over the city cooking everywhere. And one of the dishes we do for catering events is our crispy blue catfish fritter. So basically what we do here is <laughs> oh. we... We take the blue catfish that we smoke, yeah. um, and another uh, brand that John represents is uh, Ivy City Smokehouse. So uh, we're big on collaborations, and we love you know the people in the district that are doing amazing things with food. And Ivy City Smokehouse makes some of the best smoked fish it's in the delicious. world. Delicious, let me tell you. So it's so, so amazing. Good. So yeah. I called them and I say, hey, I want to do blue catfish. I don't have a huge smoker. Can you help me? And they're like, for sure. So they actually smoke the blue catfish for us. Okay. So. Um, well, I, I see catfish and I see something that looks like meatballs. So yeah. <laughs> I think those things come together. So basically, right? yeah, we're going to start with that and then we're going to end up with this. So what we do is we take uh, a little bit of uh, seasoned butter that we season with uh, roasted sesame. Ooh. We put it in this hot pan. We're going to melt it down a little bit. Love butter. We're going to add celery. Yes. Uh, this is what we call the chico aromatics. So that's uh, two parts garlic, one part uh, fresh ginger. Okay. A little bit of onion, uh -huh. some carrots, Ooh, yes, some of the yes. aforementioned catfish that we kind of shred. Oh, oh, shred yes. it up into, into pieces. Oh. It's smelling so good. Somebody has an Asian influence. Then we had all that. <laughs> yeah, the DJ's over here. All right, Rico, let's get in there, baby. Um, we had a little bit of uh, this potato. So you've been already cooked. cooked this. We've already cooked the potatoes. Petite so we just kind of smash it. This gives it. us a little body. Okay. And you taking those? Oh man. And a what little is bit this? of chico <laughs> salt. So this is the, ah. the magic that we put in every chico dish. Do you bottle that? We, we are starting to bottle that, so that's a new adventure that we're starting off, uh, kind of doing some sales on the products. We make sauces, the salts, the seasonings, uh, so we just kind of started that process. So you get this all rendered so down? So we get this all rendered down, mixed together, get the kind of potato kind of cooked oh, in there. Oh, it's smells like It's super simple, just a few ingredients, but you, you know, my biggest thing about cooking is to start with great ingredients and you'll yeah. end up with a great finished dish. So if we didn't start with beautiful blue catfish, we wouldn't end up with a beautiful blue catfish uh, fritter. So this would be cooked. Then we take this. This is um, so after we cook this, it's really important that you want to chill this before oh, okay, forming okay. it into balls. So we chill this overnight mm -hmm. and then we basically just kind of form this into little meatballs. We kind of roll them like this. Uh -huh. And then the process is uh, through egg, 
flour and and panko, um, and panko which okay. is a Japanese style mm. breadcrumb. <laughs> okay. Then we got our little portable fryer you here. Just drop them down. We just drop them in the fryer. Oh. <laughs> they get served crispy, and then we make a sauce at Chico that has. Um, Kojijan, which is a uh, Korean hot pepper paste. Yes. Mm. A little bit of uh, mayonnaise, and then our signature spice blend that we put on the fish. We also put it in the dipping sauce. We fry it, and we serve it just like that. So yep. on, on the spicy rating, how hot? Uh, not too Out of 10, probably like a 4. It's, it's got a little okay, heat, but... Good. Not not too bad. A little bit of a rattlesnake, but not uh, not overwhelming. Somebody over here told me that. Yeah, I, I, right. I, I, yeah, yeah. I got to know it was like a kid on the playground. So <laughs> just kind of like Well, you better be careful way. there. You know what's great about these? I love, you said, uh, especially when you cater, you serve these. And they're yep. perfect because when you have an event, especially at the yep. office, you want to be able to walk around and eat, talk to your colleagues, you know, take a bite, yep. you know, put it in the napkin, sip something, some wine or something, you know. Change it's just the perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's, Is it's that Little Mo was doing earlier. Yeah. yeah. I think Little Mo wanted to try these already, right? She did. She did. <laughs> little Mo said, "Can I have one?" It was the display, but I'm like, "You can have whatever you want." That's right. You Mo, cannot so deny Little Mo. I'm not, I'm not Mo. saying no to Little Mo, so she I got an she, endorsement from her. So she uh, tried, gave me the thumbs up. So I think we're good. So, in addition to the blue catfish, do you make these balls with any kind of fish, or can you? You can certainly. This is a kind of a you know, this is really inspired by you know a couple of trips that we took to Korea, and there's a lot of street snacks, little fried fish. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of incorporate that, but this is really sort of a Spanish, you know, style of a dish with a croquette, which is mm -hmm. potatoes, fish. They can do it with ham. You can put cheese in there. Really, this is one way to do this, but there's a million different combinations that you can do. Any wow. fish, shrimp, I protein. think we'd all like to get started and indulge a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, Rico, you want to go first? Oh, well, y'all start. I'm going to go play some music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want. So, yeah. um, so we, a little, we need to try these. Oh, yeah, got You got a little... Okay. All right. And see how they come out of the fryer, beautiful golden brown. Oh, that does look yummy and delicious. Dig in. Dig um, in. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, all go right. ahead. Don't be shy. Go ahead. Get one here. You know, what I was saying earlier is, is your face look familiar, and after you mentioned uh, the Rammies, it's like Michelle and I cover the Rammies every yeah. year. Oh, yeah, we love that event. And you had some yeah. Rammies news recently, right? Uh, we did, yeah, we did. Uh, we, we won uh, Best New Restaurant uh, at the past Rammy. So for Chico! Yeah, so we were <laughs> That's right. super, oh, super thrilled about that. You know, we just love being part of the district, and, uh, you know, we're a homegrown concept. My business partner, Danny, who's a Korean chef, uh, is from the area. I've lived here for 12 years, and uh, I've made it my home. We, we love D.C. and everything about D.C., the restaurant community. You know, there's so many great you know, restaurateurs, chefs, it's, and it's such a wonderful, tight community yeah. in D.C., and the Rammies really exemplifies that. So, I mean, that's And this exemplifies party. all of that. <laughs> yeah. This is I delicious. Wait. I've got to wait. So i got my floss in the back. <laughs> 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 thanks to our guest today and, of course, my co-host, Michelle Wright. And thanks to DJ Dirty Rico and all of you for watching us. Furman and I will see you again next time on The 202. See ya. This is how we do when we party uh, in the 202. Yeah. Hey. Home of that good live music. Come on. Live on set, live audience approves it. Uh. The best hopes that don't get no tighter. Yeah. Herman and Michelle can't get, get no writer. Taxation, no representation. No. But the 202 repping for the capital nation. Uh -huh. so from 703 to the 301. Yeah. yeah, we all come to have some fun. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party in the 202. Yeah. It's the 202. Yeah. This the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. Yeah. This the 202. This the 202. It's the 202. This is how we do when we party it's in the, the 202. It's the 202. It's the 202.